Hi there folks, my name's NovaWing24 and here's a quick little tutorial in one of the features um, for Dovetail Games Flight Sim World. So this is current, um, this information that's going to be in this is going to be current as of the early access uh, version that's currently, that's just been released a few days ago. Um, so this is may change over time and if it does I will post a updated tutorial. So we're going to be talking about flight planning today. So flight planning is a fair bit different in... Um, flight sim world than it has been from other platforms um, that we've ex that we've uh, experienced as a community for a while. Uh, so let's uh, jump into it. So we, first of all, we're going to head over to Free Flight. Um, so just not really go, we're not going to really look at the aircraft or the weather conditions for now. We're just going to focus on the airport system. So there's a couple of different ways. Uh, essentially, what you do is you need to choose a start destination, and you, you need to choose a departure, and you need to choose an arrival. Um, and then it's how you get there in between is sort of what happens next. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do this. So the first way is you can actually type the, click the select departure airport here. Um, you can type in the name of the airport or you can type in the ICAO. So for example, just for testing purposes today, we're going to do a flight from Brisbane. So I can either type in the ICAO, which is Yankee Bravo Bravo November. There it is. Or I could type in Brisbane. Uh, and it will show me the two airfields that are associated with Brisbane, okay, so Archfield and Brisbane International. Um, or the other thing that I can do is I can simply, you can actually simply click the map here. Now you can zoom out and you can drag around and you can see, you know, all the airports around the world. So you can go to where you want to zoom into, hold your mouse over it and sort of scroll in to where you want to go. Now, incidentally, um, you may notice that uh, Brisbane International has a little house icon on it. So that's when you set up your um, your pilot profile. Uh, you actually can choose your default and your home airport, um, and then on the map will always be shown on the map with a uh, little house on it. So that's cool. All right. Um, so few things to go through on the map here as well. Now. Um, Something that's a little annoying at the moment um, is the fact that it does have NDBs, VORs um, are listed, are sort of in the sim. They are there. Unfortunately, however, um, uh, and iOS for instance as well, but unfortunately, however, the frequencies are not displaying and there's no way to sort of access the frequency information in sim. So that's a... Uh, a bit of an issue at the moment, um, but considering that the aircraft that have been released as part of early access, it's not a huge deal at the moment. Um, it would be kind of useful, especially if you're doing, you know, night and bad weather exercises. But you know, as it, a bit of an issue that one. I'm sure we're going to see that corrected. Well, we'd better see that corrected in the future. But yeah, as if we can tell that we know what they are. It's just for whatever reason, like you can put the mouse over it and you just know that they're there, but they're just not showing up. Anyway. Alright, so let's uh, do our flight. So as I said, we're going to do a flight today from Brisbane, so we're going to choose Brisbane as our start. So the first thing you do is you click Start. Okay, now this then generates this line here. And as I said, this the way of thinking with flight planning inside of Flight Sim World is a little different. You think of your departure and your arrival, and then you sort of plot the route in between. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to be doing a flight today. So the, the flight plan for this one, let's do a flight plan down to the beautiful north coast of New South Wales. And let's do a flight down to Ballina. Okay, so that's it. So you select the airport that you want to go to. Now, you can sort of choose to go to another airport if you wish to after that. But let's just say that's just the flight. And if you want to, well, actually, let's just show you. So if you want to choose another airport, you can then say it'll do another short hop to Casino. All right. Once you've chosen the airport, the, or the final airport, the final destination you want to go to, what you do is you then right click and that will disable that. Now, the actual flight planning and the route planning. Now, one of the things that you know is there's no real way to sort of add waypoints and stuff like that. But what you do is you grab this line, this sort of you know, glowing white line, and you click and you drag it to where you'd like your waypoint. So let's say, for example, we want to uh, shoot over the um, the VOR there, Jacob's Well. Move it over that. Cool. Done. All right. And then we'll do a, another waypoint just to take us uh, just uh, near just near the Gold Coast, but sort of we'll stay away from the approach path to uh, to Cool and Gather. So we'll go inland a bit there. There you go. Done. That's that's how you do fly planning. You choose these routes. Now, if you want to get rid of a waypoint. Okay, you simply drag it so it disappears. So drag it back to a direct line between two points and then that waypoint will disappear. As I said, the flight planning is actually disgustingly simple, 
but you have to, but it, it, it takes a bit of a change in logic. Now, if you want to get rid of one of the airports that you've chosen, what we do is we go back to this part here, press the little back arrow, sorry, here, oops, sorry. Um, you press, so there's two ways to do it. So you can either press the back arrow, press the um, sort of start point there, so you can actually go through and then you can say, okay, no, I don't really want to go to casino anymore. I can delete that off the list. The other way to do it was simply um, do the expand up part, which we saw before. So you go expand up and that gives you this list you can delete from. So yeah, that's it. That's that's the simplicities um, of flight planning when it comes to Flight Sim World. It is actually very simple. It is very much a GPS-based flight plan. Um, we The navigation data is in there. Um, for doing VOR, NDBs, uh, and that kind of uh, those kind of that kind of navigation, unfortunately, it's not in a format we can read from the map view at the moment, and we don't have the ability to bring that detail up inside the sim at the moment. So again, um, I, I, look, I, I'm a little disappointed that it's not available um, to and accessible because I think it's really important to practice things like navigation exercises, especially considering that one of the flight school missions what well, was one of the um the the tutorials and the, the to get your private pilot's license you need to be able to navigate via vors and, and dmes so it's kind of important that it's there so something that i'm hoping they're going to correct very very soon but as i said um the flight planning this will simply output it as a temporary as a plm file and load it automatically into your aircraft if you want to save this for a late flight um, all you simply do is you can simply click the save tab here and you enter in what you'd like the flight plan to be named as so we're going to name this one today we're going to name this um, uh, gold coast run we'll save that one as that there we go and we can go save and done and that will now be somewhere there it is yep cool done so it's all the information there for you so that's it and that's and then what you can do in the future is that you can and what I'll do is we'll just go reset here so we'll clear all that so yep so you can prove that it's all clear what we'll do is we'll go load we'll go down to Gold Coast run double click on it and whoop, nope nope don't don't double click on it we'll go Gold Coast and then we go load there we go and now we can see that it's been laid out. There you go. As I said, very quick, very simple. Um, just takes that little bit of intuitive um, sort of. It's it, it it is actually very intuitive once once you start it. It's just that initial step of being a bit counterintuitive. You 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 want to go from well not so much counterintuitive, just not what we're used to. It's not what we're used to. So there you go. So it's simply start with your departure airport. Input your destination airport and then do the uh, click and drag for the flight planning afterwards. So there you go. Alright folks, well this has been my quick little tutorial um, for flight planning in Flight Sim World. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, don't forget as always to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these videos and want to see more. And of course as always you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by finding me on Facebook and on Twitter. Just search NovaWing24. Alright folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe skies to all. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.